Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's have some fun. This is a Santa's Little Reindeer Hop and it's a giveaway guys. How exciting. 11 of us got together to spread some holiday cheer to our favorite people, our subscribers. And this is a giveaway hop and you have a chance to win 110 US dollars. The rules will be in my description box, but you have to do three things in order to qualify. One of them is each of us is one of Santa's reindeer or Santa. And do not leave in the comments below who we are, but to qualify for the giveaway, you will also need to send an email at the end, and I'll have that email link linked below. And in the email, you will say what creator was what reindeer or Santa. So that is one of the rules for the hop. More rules are to come, so stay tuned. DIY number one. I wanted to do a natural video for so long so i just i've never done one of these videos and i thought this would be so much fun so i grabbed some yarn i grabbed some of my wooden ornaments and i thought it would be cute to do kind of a natural boho type garland and I took my yarn, I just wrap, 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 wrap around my fingers. <laughs> this is depending on how thick you want it. Once I had it wrapped, I kind of made a little lasso and put it around what I had wrapped and tied it off kind of like you're doing a tassel. But instead of having one end closed, we're going to open up both ends and then fluff, fluff, fluff. And it makes the cutest little open boho tassel. Oh my goodness. Once you have that cut the way you want it, put another string, tie it off, and that's going to be your hanger. So you can fluff it and make it the way you want it. Now I got this jumbo needle because my asai isn't the way it used to be. <laughs> I thread both of those strings from the hanger through the needle and grab my beads. Now I decided I wanted some natural beads, but each tassel have color as well. Um, some have red, some have green, some have this beautiful navy blue, just to add that pop of color with all the neutral going on and to make it more Christmassy. So you just feed your needle through your bead, pull both ends through, and then pull the end through that's cut open and easy peasy the beads go on so much easier and if you're having trouble with your eyesight like i am <laughs> this is perfect than trying to thread that yarn through the bead itself so that's all i did for the tassels and i did a medium and i did a kind of beige and then I did do a green which yes I know isn't exactly neutral but it is Christmassy so we added that into that neutral decor and these are so relaxing once you have the beads on tie it off set it aside and make a couple more for your garland now like I said in order to qualify for the giveaway um, you need to first watch all the videos a link to the next video in the hop will be in everybody's description. So after you're done watching my video, go to my description box, click on the link, and hop on over to the next video. To also qualify, you need to comment on every video. But do not comment what the reindeer is. That's a secret. That information you will email to the email I provide in the description box and let her know which creator was which reindeer and which creator was Santa. That is part of the rules for qualifying for the 110 US dollars. So watch the videos, comment, and then hop on over to the next video once you've watched all 10 and you've wrote down what creator was which reindeer in Santa, then email Lini and that's it. You have a chance to win. How exciting is that? The giveaway ends December 10th at midnight, so make sure you have all the videos watched by then. And the giveaway winner will be announced December 13th in all 11 of us creators' community tabs. 
So this is just a way to spread some Christmas cheer to our subscribers and we're so happy to be able to do this for you. And this is so much fun. I am so excited to participate in this and I'm having a blast. So there's all of my tassels and they're so cute. I love the fluffiness of them. I love the pop of color with the beads. Now, Dollar Tree sells these like wooden ornaments. I did not have a lighter, but I did have my kitchen torch. So I thought, you know, this would work. I'll just burn the edges. Well, I have a very sensitive smoke alarm. Extremely sensitive, as you'll be able to hear in just a few moments. Needless to say, I scared the bejeebies out of my whole family. <laughs> I thought it was funny, but they got over it, you know. Once I had, and please be careful. <laughs> Let me just say that. Please be careful. Don't, playing with fire is dangerous. And yeah, things can go wrong. So if you have a lighter, that'd probably be a better option. Or just use brown paint to highlight the edges. <laughs> Okay, so once that was done, I started assembling my garland. And right now, I am just taking the strings and I'm tying them together in a knot, going around another piece of yarn, longer yarn, for the garland. And once I have all of my little boho tassels in place where I want them, then it's time to start securing them down so they don't move. If I left them like this, when I would go to hang the garland, they would all just jumble up in the center and just be one big boho mess. So all you have to do to keep them where you want them is take your tails, okay? Wrap them under the main string, then back over, and then tie them in a knot. And that will secure them exactly where you want it on your main string and they won't be going anywhere and they won't be sliding and bouncing into each other. So you take it, you go under, then over, and then tie it in a knot. So easy and now it's attached. I did that on all of them. On the wooden pieces, I added just a dab of hot glue to the back and attach the string and here's that garland guys DIY number two, I am gonna, actually this is number two and will be number three. But you can get these signs at Dollar Tree and I'm a sucker for any sign with a bead on it. I thought these were so stinking cute. It looks like it has a wood frame around it, but that it isn't. It's just the vinyl covering of the sign. And I grabbed some more wooden beads and I wanted to tell you guys, look at the canister. That's from Dollar Tree. And I need more of these. <laughs> I went back to grab some more and they were already gone, but those canisters are amazing. Um, I have the link to the beads I purchased on Amazon. I'm going to be using half rounds. So if you're interested, click on the link and you can see what I purchased. And we're going to make two natural, semi like, I guess, boho country. I mean, really, boho to me is just a real fun eclectic style but these also can be used in rustic country christmas decor or country christmas decor um i'm falling in love with natural christmas decor so these are a great addition it took three coats of paint and i tried not to get the paint on the outside but then i was going to leave it but then i changed my mind so that's a Jenga block, and I just used my miter tool to cut it in half. The miter tool will go right through that Jenga block, and that's going to be the base of my tree. Then using those half rounds, and these are the smaller 
half rounds and some Gorilla Glue. I'm just gonna glue them down in rows and each row I take away a bead. So we're gonna make a Christmas tree out of these little half rounds. I kept it natural because they're beautiful. I did not stain or paint or anything. And yeah, I'm obsessed with these containers, so I showed you them again. <laughs> so I, with a Q-tip, I add a little bit of wood glue, and I start with my first row. Then the second row, I put the beads in between two of the beads on the first row, and you're going to end up taking away a bead with every row. And then you have the cutest little Christmas tree. When I got to the top of this, I still had space, so I took another half round just to finish it off at the top. So the top actually has two going up and down, and it's fine, it kind of makes it look like a bead topper to the Christmas tree, so it turns out really cute. Now, be careful with painting the sign. I did not take the cover off of it um, because I wanted that frame still around that kind of mimics wood but isn't. <laughs> but yeah, it does kind of, if you put too much paint on it, it does kind of want to come away from it. But it, you can always use a glue stick and glue it back down. And isn't this cute? It's just simple and I don't know. I'm really loving natural decor. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite color scheme is for Christmas. Do you do country? Do you do natural? Do you do traditional red and green? Are you into the blues this year? Do you change your Christmas tree every year? I know our Christmas tree is full of like sentimental ornaments, um, a lot of Hallmark ornaments, a lot of things that kids have made through the years, things I've made, so it's kind of a mishmash. But there's the first sign. It's so cute and so easy to do. DIY number three is using that second sign in DIY number two that I painted. And this time we're gonna be using yarn. I have a like cream color yarn, then I have a deeper brown color yarn. And I wrap it around my fingers, wrap, 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 just like I'm gonna make a tassel. Except for this time I cut a string and I go in the center of this and tie it real tight. And we're not cutting it, we're not making a tassel, but we're just going to kind of make circles with this. And once you have it wrapped or tied in the middle, then you just kind of fluff it up and make a circle. The second one, I'm going to take two of the yarns, one of each color, and wrap them around my finger. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a string, go around the center, tie it tight, fluff it around until it makes a circle. And then the final one, I am going to just use the darker yarn and do the same exact thing. That way it's going light, then a mixture, and then to the dark for our little boho natural snowman. And I'm obsessed with yarn these days. Like I love doing projects with yarn and I was so excited when Dollar Tree started selling yarn in all different colors and it doesn't look like a lot for a dollar but boy the yarn I've bought so far I've used for so many projects and these both came from Dollar Tree so yeah I mean it, it's pretty a good bang for your buck there. Once I had the shapes and it fluffed the way I wanted it, then I just hot glued it down to the sign. Starting with the natural, then I did the darker one at the bottom, and then my little mixture is in the center. And I used some um, lace ribbon in a natural color, and I just made a little natural scarf for the snowman. I made I cut a little piece to go around the neck and then I made like a little hanging piece coming down just by folding two pieces, put adding a little hot glue and trimming them down to size. Then I went in my button stash, I grabbed a couple 
buttons that would match and I put two buttons in the center of the snowman. I finished it off just like the last sign by highlighting those corners and then coming around the edges with some white chalk paint and on this one I actually highlighted some of the beads as well and here's how he turned out guys. DIY number four, we're gonna make a natural reindeer sign. And I love these wooden signs from Dollar Tree and I love my little wallpaper book from Walmart. Um, so I went in my wallpaper book, I picked out a real neutral wallpaper and this Dollar Tree sign is one of my favorite signs that they sell just because the frame is actually really nice. It's a real natural color and you don't have to do much to the sign. Now for this one, I'm gonna be using my larger half rounds. For this one, the tree, I use the smaller ones. So this either comes with a red rose or a pink rose. So you just gotta rip that rose off. <laughs> and I was um, gonna use, I was gonna paint it, but I thought, you know, it, I really don't need to with adding the wallpaper. So I just removed it from the, picture frame and cut around my wallpaper to size and then I finally learned my lesson and I used a glue stick this time to attach the wallpaper because I'm almost given up on Mod Podge and glue sticks work for me they're just so much easier don't have the wrinkles and don't have the bubbles and I just yeah it's easier for me. So once I had that done, I put it back in the frame and we're ready to start positioning the reindeers. So you're just gonna grab nine half rounds. Actually, you're gonna grab eight half rounds. And then you're gonna put them where you want them on the sign. Now you can space them any way you want. If you want just a small gap at the bottom and the top, bring them down further. I have a bigger gap at the bottom. I'm kind of centering these. Once I have them where I want them, I'm just going to hot glue them down to the sign. Now, I would love to take credit for this idea, but this is not my idea. I watched and I cannot remember who I watched. Sometimes at work when I know I'm going to just be doing the same thing over and over again, I set my phone up and turn the volume down and put YouTube on and I can like, kind of keep looking down as I'm working and I saw a creator doing this and I cannot remember who it was and if I could I would let you know because I don't take credit for other people's work but oh my gosh I giving props to her right now by redoing it because I loved it so much I wanted to do it myself um now I'm going to take these frosted berries and they're actually styrofoam that you can get from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut it down to where it's almost the same size as the half round. That's going to go in the center and that's going to be Rudolph of course because we had to have Rudolph be different than the other reindeers, right? So just hot glue Rudolph down and you can start the next step. 
And I'm sure probably a few creators have done this sign. I wish I could remember who I was watching, but um, it was so amazing and I absolutely love this. It was such a great idea she had. Um, to do the antlers, I took a fine tip Sharpie and all you have to do is kind of draw sticks coming off of the half rounds. And then I put two little eyeballs for the eyes, just dots. I did come back and make the dots a little darker. They were a little light. Now for Rudolph, I did do him a little different. I wanted him to stand out a little bit more. So I made his antlers bigger and I made his eyeballs bigger because he's the star of the show here. I wish it was Dasher because I'm Dasher, but no, it's Rudolph. So maybe Dasher will get his time in the spotlight next time so if y'all got if you're paying attention part of the giveaway i am dasher Why number five is a Christmas tree. Natural kind of boho Christmas tree. Dollar Tree sells these garland tinsel trees and you just take the garland off. It's pretty easy until you get to the top. Then you need a little muscles, but it comes off. But the frame of this tree is just perfect for so many different tree projects. So I took the darker yarn and it looks like I'm using a lot. I just wanted a solid base going around the tree. So um, this is the yarn that I used earlier. Like I said, I have used this yarn before in other projects as well. And even though it looks like I'm using an abundance, I still had a ton of it left over. So yeah, I just started twirling it around until I had a really good base to work with for the next few steps. Once I had that yarn wrapped around the frame, I came back in with some really pretty ribbon and I'm just going to go around the bottom of the Christmas tree with this ribbon. The great thing about boho is you can just keep layering and layering and adding and the more the better. It just turns out so cute. This is such a cute unique tree and I'm loving this. I think I'm going to make a few more because I actually gave this one to my best friend because she decorated her office in kind of boho natural colors but she didn't she was having a hard time finding Christmas decor like this so I'm like okay well I've been wanting to do a natural video for so long so this would be perfect. I can do this and it benefits me, it benefits her, and it was just a lot of fun. Now I want to make all of these pieces for my own home. <laughs> so I came back in with a different color yarn and I went around part of the tree with that. And then I just keep layering. I keep grabbing any natural um, crafting supplies that I have and I just keep adding layers to this tree and I come back in with a ribbon I'm doing a big wide now layer with it I come back in with um burlap and some wood beads and I even use raffia because I just thought that would be cool. This is the kind of translucent ribbon from Dollar Tree and I it's kind of a beigey pink so I thought that would be cute to add a different color and texture 
and I love raffia, so I grabbed my neutral raffia, kind of bunched it up in my hand, took another piece of raffia and tied it in the center, and then trimmed off the edges, and I put that all along the bottom of the tree as well, and I add half rounds in the center of the raffia. I came in with some thick twine and I wrapped that going around as well. And I'm not even really being careful if it's like too tight. Some layers are loose, some layers are tighter um, because it gives it such a unique and different look. You know, you have some flat parts of the tree, you have some thicker parts of the tree. I just think using all the different um, Crafting supplies with different textures and styles is what makes this tree unique and different. And I, really, this is probably one of my favorite Christmas decor pieces I've done so far just because it turned out so cute and it was so much fun to make. So right now I'm using burlap. I have thicker, wider burlap, so I just trimmed it down and I did a layer of burlap. I come in and I actually attach some half rounds to that burlap to make that part of the tree stand out. Like I said, this it was just fun. I went and grabbed my favorite rope that you can get from um, Walmart. But people are having a hard time finding it at Walmart, so I do have a link down below that you can get it on Amazon as well if you want to check out what kind it is. Um, and I went all the way up to the top with the white rope, and then I cut it on a bias at the top and hot glued that to the top of my tree. a feeling now it's time for christmas and christmas is my favorite time of year it's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true i came in with some more of that natural ribbon and i went where the um burlap and the rope meet and i kind of did another row of that ribbon and then I added the half rounds going around the burlap. And like I said, you can go in your crafting supplies and you can just grab anything neutral or natural color or just kind of beige or brown or white. And you can just have fun with this tree. Or if you want to do it like I did, the um, most of almost everything came from Dollar Tree except for the rope did come from Walmart. Now I took a round floral foam um, and I did cut it down to size and I attached the tree to that. The tree was kind of, I don't know if it was because of how much pressure I was putting on that frame, but it didn't want to stand upright. So by putting one of those round foams in the bottom, it kind of pushed it out to be the proper shape. And I made sure it went in there pretty tight, but just to secure it a little bit more, I added some hot glue, and then my tree stood up perfectly. And then to finish off my tree, I took one of those twine balls from the Dollar Tree, and that's going to be my tree topper. And I think that just finished off the look because I had a lot of light going on. And then once you got to the top, it kind of brought that beige right back into it. And here's the finished tree. I absolutely love this tree. I want to make 10 more. <laughs> it's so cute. I had so much fun doing this. Don't forget about the giveaway if you want to have a chance to win the 110 US dollars. Don't forget you have to keep the reindeer that we are a secret till the end till you've watched all 11 videos. 
email the link below with the creator and what reindeer or Santa they were. Watch all 11 videos hopping on to the next video and leave a comment on all 11 videos and you will have a chance to win. I am blessed with the most amazing subscribers ever. I love you all so, so much. I hope you are excited about Christmas coming and that you get to spend time with your family this year and just make it a wonderful, happy memory. Um, I have my mother-in-law in town and we are having a blast spending time together and then we're actually going to go see my sister-in-law and her husband in Florida for Christmas so we're very excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing this. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and I hope I wish you all the best of luck in the giveaway. Don't forget to click the next link to hop on over to the next video. And I'll be back in a second to tell you who that is. So let it come. You let it come. Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true that's why i cheer i've been busy decking the halls i've been kind to big and small and now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for christmas let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it Thank you so much for watching, guys. Now you want to click that link and head on over to a perfect place to start. Have a blessed and wonderful week, guys. I love you. Bye, y'all.